Welcome to this video tutorial explaining all the new functions found in the 1.10 firmware upgrade for the TR8. This upgrade gives you several new functions for both live and studio use, including a more advanced MIDI implementation. Let's start with the update procedure. Hold the step 1 button and turn on the power. Connect the computer to the TR8's USB port. Open the TR8 drive that shows up in your computer. Copy the TR8 underscore UPD dot bin update file to the root directory of the TR8 drive. Disconnect the USB cable. Press the lit step 2 button to start the update procedure. When all the step and instrument buttons blink, turn the TR8 power off and on again. You are now ready to use the update. Firmware 1.10 New Functions 1. Data Backup and Restore You can now back up the patterns and drum kits of the TR8 individually. Hold down the Step 2 button and turn on the power. Connect your computer to the TR8's USB port. Open the TR8 drive that shows up on your computer. To back up, copy the kit and or pattern files in the backup directory to your computer. The kits are named tr8 underscore kit and then the number of the kit dot prm and the patterns are named tr8 underscore pattern and then the number of the pattern dot prm. To restore, copy your desired kit and pattern files to the tr8's restore directory. Eject the USB drive. Disconnect the USB cable. Turn the TR8's power off. 2. Instrument gain setting. It is now possible to set the initial gain levels of the instruments in a drum kit. This means that you can balance the levels according to your own taste in each kit individually and make sure that each of them are well balanced with all the faders on max, for instance. Press the kit button. 2. Hold the instrument button, BD, SD, etc., of the instrument you wish to change the gain level for, then turn the tempo dial. The display value ranges from 0 to 200, meaning minus 24 dB to plus 24 dB. 3. Lock pattern data. You can now lock individual pattern data. This means that you can now edit the pattern. But once that pattern is reloaded, the old data will return. Select the pattern. Hold the pattern select button and turn the tempo dial. Setting is either off, unlocked, or lock, locked. 4. Edit pattern AB regardless of what the sequencer is playing. You can now, for example, view and edit pattern B only, even though the sequencer is playing only A or AB. Hold step record and press your desired part for editing, A or B. You will now see that part by itself. 5. Instant reset. If you want to immediately restart the pattern without stopping it, simply hold tap and press the start stop button. Six, scatter current cycle only. This operation will turn the scatter function on for the rest of the cycle only, meaning it's automatically turned off on the first beat of the next cycle. Seven, improved roll function. When you play a roll, you can freely choose to start with the instrument button and press the roll buttons, or the other way around. Eight, MIDI local on off and MIDI controller mode. Several local modes have been included for desired studio or live use. Apart from the standard local on off settings, we now also have a MIDI controller mode, which lets you send MIDI notes and control changes from the TR8 without using the internal sound engine for any MIDI messages coming in. 
Stop the sequencer. Hold the last step button and turn the scatter dial. Choose your desired mode, off, local off, on, local on, or control, MIDI controller mode. 9. MIDI out velocity control. You can now vary the MIDI velocity output level coming from the step buttons by holding the accent button. Held is 80, not held is 112. 10. Select kit number by program change message. It is now possible to change the kits via MIDI through program change messages. 11. Scatter controllable via MIDI. You can now control the scatter switch, type and depth via MIDI. This function requires the internal clock to be running. Controller number 68 is scatter type, 69 is scatter depth, and 70 is scatter switch. 12. Effects controllable via MIDI note messages. The effects are now controllable via MIDI note messages. This means they can now all be switched on or off individually via the MIDI notes. C0 is accent on off, D0 is reverb on off, E0 is delay on off, F0 is external in on off, G0 is accent pattern mute, A0 is reverb pattern mute, B0 is delay pattern mute, C1 is external in pattern mute. 13. Real-time recording with external MIDI notes. It is now possible to real-time record MIDI notes into the TR8 from an external MIDI source. Instant record mode. Fourteen MIDI off. You can now specify the TR8's MIDI channel setting to off meaning it doesn't send or receive MIDI data at all. 15. Scatter switch mode. This setting lets you specify whether the scatter switch should be momentary or latched. While holding down the pattern select button, turn on the power. Press step 5. Lit is momentary, unlit is latched. Press the start stop button to save your setting. Sixteen, MIDI start stop message ignore. This setting lets you choose whether the MIDI start stop messages should be ignored or not. While holding down the pattern select button, turn on the power. Press step six. Lit is only MIDI clock received. Unlit is MIDI clock and start stop messages are received. 